Hi, this is CK at CK Education. Everybody has heard and agrees with universally that we should love one another. You know, people often quote, love your neighbor as yourself. Now, this is from the Bible, and uh, Jesus said, you should love your neighbor as yourself. And when someone asked him, what's the greatest commandment? Um, he said, love God, and basically, love your neighbor. And he said, love your neighbor as yourself. So a lot of people, whether you're a Christian or not, whether you're religious or not, doesn't matter what religion, really, people universally agree that this is, you know, like the golden rule, loving your neighbor as yourself. Or do unto others as you would have them do unto you, people quote. But this love your neighbor as yourself often gets misconstrued because people focus on the love your neighbor. So they do all kinds of stuff. They serve their neighbor. They give to charities. They sacrifice themselves, their time, their energy, their money. And people are busy doing things for other people, which is noble and is wonderful. But, and this goes back to another video I made, and I said, are you living inside out or outside in? And the important thing is, it is a wonderful thing, of course, to serve other people and love other people. But what I've seen a lot in my life is that people miss the second part. Love your neighbor as yourself. Now, this is problematic for a lot of people. Here's the thing. A lot of people act like they live their lives as if they're serving and helping and loving other people. When in fact, it's just an outside thing. Now, I'm not saying that people are intentionally deceiving themselves and or deceiving other people into making them think that they they are they they care for other people or love other people i'm not saying that they're intentionally doing that but what a lot of people do is they don't really love themselves and they try to cover that insecurity they cover they try to cover that lack of love for self by loving other people as if i if i just love other people i'm sure i'll love myself more but this is the opposite it doesn't work like that and very few people understand this. They think that if I just do outside things, I can fill the emptiness inside and it doesn't work like that. Loving other people, yes, as you love yourself. And so if you don't love yourself very much, there's no real love there to give to other people. So what are you really giving to other people? You're giving them your time. You're giving them your money. You're giving them your whatever it is. But could it really be love? The question is, the question I like to ask is this, how can you give something that you don't have? If you don't have love in your heart, if you don't have love for yourself, and I'm not talking about a selfish kind of love. I'm talking about the rightful, the, the healthy kind of love that we're supposed to have for ourselves. We're supposed to love ourselves. Because if you don't love yourself, you can't love other people. And this is why Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. But if you don't love yourself, how do you love other people? But people don't sit down and think about this. They just think, well, loving other people. So I'm going to go serve all that. I'm going to give to charity. I'm going to give money. I'm going to give resources. I'm going to give my time. I'm going to give my energy. When in fact, deep, in, deep down inside, they don't really like themselves very much, much less love themselves. Now, this may usually not may have, but it is usually caused because of the way they grew up, because of what they, their parents told them. Somehow they felt that they were not lovable. Somehow they felt that they are not worthy of love. And so they have a real hard time receiving love. They even doubt if God loves them. And I talked about it in a previous video about, you know, when you read the uh, Confessions of Mother Teresa, the most sacrificial person that we probably have ever seen or heard of. And yet she said, I don't feel his love. I don't feel his presence. He seems, he meaning God, seems so far away. How could it be? How could it be that someone who's so sacrificial doesn't feel God's love or his presence at all in her heart for like 50 years? How is that possible? I think it's very possible. I think a lot of people live like this without knowing it. I think lots and lots of people live like this. They do a lot of things on the outside and yet they don't, take the time. They don't slow down. They're not still enough. 
to see if they really have love in their own hearts, if they really love themselves. So here's my challenge to all of us. We have to first love ourselves. We have to love ourselves. And that loving ourselves comes from an objective truth of God loving us. In that when we were born, all of us, we were all created equally valuable. There's no one who is more valuable than anyone else. Now, regardless of what you may think about yourself, you may think of yourself as more valuable or less valuable, worthy or not worthy. But it doesn't change the fact that we are all made by one creator, that we are all loved and valued the same. There's nobody more valuable than someone else. We are all valued the same. And so we are all loved the same. And it is okay for you to love yourself. In fact, it is mandatory that you love yourself in a healthy way. In a way that I love myself because God loves me. I love myself because who He made me to be. I love myself because He considers me valuable. See, my love for myself is not because I think that I'm something. My love for myself comes from who made me, who owns me, and so who created me. And because a loving God made me, I can love myself in a healthy way, in a humble way. And once I get that straight, now I have the love inside of me to share with other people. Now I can love other people. You may think that you love other people, but if you don't love yourself, I think we're only fooling ourselves into thinking that we are. How can we give something we don't have? How can we give love that we don't have? How can we love somebody when we don't even love ourselves? It's not really possible, is it? So we have to love ourselves. And that's why it's so important that we love ourselves. Now, let's talk about if you have kids. How are your kids feeling about themselves? Are we teaching our kids? Do we make them feel that they are loved unconditionally? That no matter their performance, no matter their outward appearance, no matter their actions, their decisions, their mistakes, their successes or failures, that we love them to the maximum amount. There's nothing they can do to make us love them any less. And there's nothing they can do to make us love them any more. Is that the message that we are giving to our kids? Or is it conditional? Is it performance-based? Is it results-based? And so often, without meaning to sometimes, parents make the love seem conditional. But it is so important that we make them understand. We show them through our love, through our love and our actions, our affections, and our and our and, and our actions and our words and our intent that that look, we I love you because of who you are. For, for just period. Regardless of what happens, there's nothing you can do to, to change the amount of love I have for you. This is the message that we have to tell our kids so that they can have a healthy sense of self-love, so they can love themselves, so they can grow up feeling secure, that they are lovable, that they are worthy, that they are valuable. Again, not because of anything, anything they've done or not done, but because they are worthy. They were worthy from birth. From the moment that they were created, they were worthy. You are worthy. I am worthy. And so I, I want you to and all of us, to have a healthy sense of love for ourselves. And when that love overflows, and we share that love with others, and we share, share and we help others because of that love, we receive from God, we receive our, that love, so we love ourselves, we love God, and from that love, it overflows into another human being and other human beings. That's when we're really doing it right. See, it's got to flow from the inside out. There's no amount of outside things that you can do to fill the emptiness inside. It will not happen. It doesn't go that way. It doesn't work out that way. No matter how much, no matter what you might tell yourself, no matter how much you, you, you serve and serve and serve and serve and serve, the emptiness still remains. It's got to be from the inside out. It's got to be an overflow of what I already have. And so that's the point I wanted to make in this video. And so um, let's... Think about that. Let's contemplate. Let's reflect. Let's meditate on that. And if we don't love ourselves, let's receive that love from God. See, God offers us that unconditional love. There's nothing you can do to make Him love you any less. There's nothing you can do to make Him love you 
anymore. You can't really impress him. He loves you because he is love. He loves you because of who he is. And all we have to do is have a humble heart and accept that love. When I experienced that in my life, when I was in my 20s, I, I must have been, it was in my 20s when I experienced that. Not, not, I, not I understood that mentally. When I experienced that, I just, I, I remember vividly. I, I, was, I was in Seattle. I was in my uh, living room. Nobody was home. Uh, I think I would have been embarrassed if someone was home. But I was by myself. And I don't know, it just hit me like a rock. This thing that I'm telling you. This unconditional love that God had for me. And when I experienced that, when I realized that in the depths of my soul, I mean, I just cried like a baby. I couldn't hold back the tears and the snot that was coming down. I, I, I just, just, just like, I felt like I was taking a shower. I was just crying like a baby. I didn't even know what to do. Like, I, I couldn't even talk. I just, just crying like tears just flowing, you know, just, and, and it, it, it was an incredible uh, realization of God's great love for me. And it wasn't because I was special. It wasn't because I did anything to deserve it. When I realized there was nothing I did to deserve it, he just loved me unconditionally. I just literally, I just accepted it. And so that, 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 that from that love, from that outpouring, from that overflow is the love that I hope that I can share and I share with other people. And I learned so deep inside my heart that I can't give what I don't have. Many of us pretend to, but we really can't. And all we're doing is we're just doing the surface stuff on the outside when our hearts are empty. So I would implore you, encourage you to just receive that love. And then when with that overflow, man, your life will change. It changed my life, and I hope it changes your life. Hey, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And uh, until my next video, I hope you stay well.